system of linear equations with three variables. Consider the system of linear equations with three unknown x, y, and z. In mathematics, basically, if there are three unknowns, you need to have three equations to solve in the simultaneous equation method. So first of all, we arrange all the three equations like this. And then from here, all the linear systems above can be written as a single matrix equation as below. With A is the matrix itself. B is all the coefficient here, B1, B2 and 3. And capital X is all the three unknowns that you want to find, X, Y, Z. Thus, the system of linear equation can be written as AX equal to B. In matrix form, it's like this. Solving system of linear equations. System of linear equations can be solved. The meaning of solve here is you find the values of all the unknowns. For example, if there are three unknowns, so you need to find the values of x, y, and z. Or for two unknowns, you need to find the values of x and y. There are two methods to find the solution for system of linear equations. The first method is by using the inverse matrix. Under the method of finding the inverse matrix, it's either you find it by using adjoint method or you find it by using the property of AB equals to KI. Those two you have learned before in finding the inverse matrix. Alright, using the inverse matrix to solve AX equal to B. As you know before, if A is any N by N square matrix that has an inverse, which is we write it as A inverse, capital X is a variable matrix, which is all the unknowns that you want to find, or X, Y, Z, and lastly, capital B is a known matrix both with n rows. Then the solution of matrix equations AX equals to B is given by X here is equal to A inverse, you multiply it with B. As you learned before, for multiplication between two matrices, the arrangement is important. You must always remember the inverse of the matrix come first and then you multiply it with the known matrix. It is not like this. Yeah? It is not like this. B, A inverse. It is A inverse, B. So how do we get with that equation here is the proof okay here is the original equation ax equals to b which is 3 by 3 square matrix now you multiply both sides of the equation with a inverse to balance the equation and then you will have on your life a inverse a x is equal to a inverse b then you have learned also before a inverse when you multiply it with a you will get identity matrix then identity matrix when you multiply it with the matrix you will get the matrix itself so that's why x is equal to a inverse b that is the first step the second step your job here is to find the A inverse. To find the A inverse here is by using the adjoint method that you have learned before.
the equation given is 4x minus 3y equals to 2 and x plus 2y equals to 1. So the first step is we need to write the equation in a single matrix form 4, negative 3, 1 and 2. Here is a matrix of x and y. And then equal to 2 and 1. Here is in a matrix form A x equal to B. As you have learned before. Then you have learned also to find the solution x is equal to A inverse times with B. So for the next step is we need to find the A in Inverse. To find the A inverse by using adjoint method, you have learned before this. So A is equal to 4, negative 3, 1, and 2. By using adjoint method, A inverse will be 1 over AD minus BC times it with d negative b negative c and a so for this specific matrix a inverse will be 1 over 4 times 2 minus minus 3 times 1 and then multiply it with 2 3 negative 1 and 4 do you understand okay now we proceed to solve the calculation so here you will get 1 over 8 plus 3 2 3 negative 1 and 4 which is 1 over 11 2 3 negative 1 and 4 then lastly don't forget to multiply all the elements in the matrix with the 1 over determinant so you will get the final matrix of A inverse is 2, 2 over 11, 3 over 11, negative 1 over 11, and 4 over 11. That's how you solve for finding the A inverse. Then because the question asks you to find the value of X and Y, so we proceed since X is equal to A inverse multiply it with B so A inverse U A inverse we use the one that you get uh, before already so 2 over 11 3 over 11 negative 1 over 11 and 4 over 11 the matrix of B is 2 and 1 by using your knowledge that you have learned before, multiplication of two matrices, you will get the final answer here is 7 over 11 and 2 over 11. But don't stop until here. You need to write the conclusion. Okay, so the value of x here is 7 over 11 and the value of y here is 2 over 11. That's how you solve the system of equations by using a joint method. Alright, now we go to the 3 times 3 matrix. So, solve the following system of equations by using a joint method. First step is you write the equation into the matrix form 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, and 1, 0, 1. And then x, y, z. The matrix B will be 11, 10, and 5.
here is the matrix A, matrix X, and matrix B. Then, for the second step, you need to find the A inverse by using a join method, which is 1 over modulus A at join of A. What is at join A? At join A is the matrix of cofactor of A that we transpose. So first, we find the modulus A, which is the determinant of A, by using the third row. Because there is zero there to make your work easy here. Okay, so by using third row, we get plus one, one, two, 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 minus zero, three, two, three, two. And then plus one, three, one, three, two. Then you proceed with one, two minus four, minus zero, six, minus six, which is zero also, plus one, six minus three. Then you calculate, you will get the value is one. So the determinant of A is one. Then one more thing that you need to find is the cofactor of matrix A. So what is the matrix of cofactor of A? We continue with adjoin. Adjoin of A is here the transpose of this matrix. So what are the, are the matrix here? The value of the elements. 2, 2, 0, 1. Here, 3, 2, 1, 1. 3, 2, 1, 0. 1, 2, 0, 1. 3, 2, 1, 1. 3, 1, 1, 0. Lastly, 1, 2, 0. 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. Is that everything? No. Not enough yet. Don't forget, you are doing the matrix of cofactor, not minor. So cofactor, don't forget all the symbols here. understand then we proceed we calculate you will have two negative one negative two negative one 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 negative two zero three so what is the transpose of this it is 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 1, and negative 2, 0, 3. Understand? Then, you need to find the A inverse. As you know, by using adjoint method, A inverse is 1 over the determinant of A times it with adjoint A. So, 1 over 1 times it with 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0. Negative 2, 1, 3. Then you have the final solution. 2, negative 1, negative 2. Negative 1, 1, 0. And negative 2, 1, 3. Understand? Now, since the question didn't ask for A inverse, the question asked for X, Y, Z. You need to continue your solution with... As you know, x is equal to a inverse b. So, a inverse, 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, and negative 2, 1, and 3. Times it with, times it with b. b is 11, 10, and 5. By using your knowledge of multiplying two matrices you will get the final answer here 
2, negative 1, and 3. Then, don't forget the conclusion. So, here x will be 2, the value of y will be negative 1, and the value of z is 3. That's how you solve the system of linear equation for three unknowns. Do you understand, everyone?